As someone who is fortunate enough to have access to it all, here is a Lumix gear that I actually use all the time. Let's start with the camera bodies. So for filming the YouTube videos and all the content that you see here on this channel, I use the Lumix S5 II for all that sort of stuff. And then I use the Lumix S5 II X as my A cam for my paid work, my corporate shoots and all that sort of stuff. And um, the reason why I don't really like to use the Lumix S5 II X for YouTube videos and making this sort of content, it's purely because it's overkill. Um, normally when I'm filming YouTube videos and stuff for this channel, Channel, I'm using the long up 4k 25p codec anyway so I'm not even needing the all intra data rates or the ProRes data rates I mean it's just too much data for YouTube when I know that the platform will just compress it anyway so therefore it means that the Lumix S5 II is the better camera for this use case at least in my opinion and then the S5 II X is of course used as my ACAM on the corporate shoots because of the all intra and the ProRes so a lot of the time I do like to shoot in the ProRes codex either via USB SBC uh, to SSD or to the Atmos, for example. Um, so the uh, Lumix S5 2X is perfect for that because it enables me to do all that sort of stuff and I can get really nice high data rates and also really nice editing codecs. For the shoots where I need more than one camera body, then of course the S5 II becomes my B cam. And if those shoots require also a C cam or a D cam even as well, then the OG S5 and the S1 will come out to play as well. And I was actually thinking the other day about how sad it is that my S5 gets a lot of shelf time now. I mean, my OG S5, the original one. But I just can't bring myself to sell the thing because it holds too much sentimental value. And honestly, for the amount of money that you get for it on the secondhand market anyway, the image quality is just too good to give it up. The Lumix S5 II honestly is the perfect YouTube camera because it has fast and reliable autofocus, it has very manageable file sizes, and the image quality is absolutely incredible. Although I own multiple external monitors for my cameras, including the Atmos Ninja V and other external recorders, I actually very, very rarely use them and always opt to use the LCD on the camera instead, even for my client work. And that's basically just because I'm lazy, but I'm just being honest with you guys. Normally I'll be using the S5 II and the S5 II X without any monitoring. I probably use less than half of the lenses that I have in my office and that's simply because the stuff that I shoot on a regular basis is quite similar. So for filming these YouTube videos, I always use the Lumix 24mm f1.8 for the talking shots and anything where I'm addressing the camera. And then for the B-roll, I use a mix of the 50mm f1.8 and the brand new 100mm macro as well now that I've got my hands on it. Um, and those really are the only lenses that I use really for filming the YouTube videos day to day, I'd say. I mean, there might be the odd occasion where I grab another one, but really those are the ones that I'm using for every video without any sort of doubts. If I could only use two lenses for this channel for the rest of my life, then they'd definitely be the 24mm and the 50mm f1.8, purely because they are so versatile, they're extremely sharp, they've got fast and reliable autofocus, and realistically, they're everything that you could ever need for filming YouTube content. And then for my client work, of course, the lens choices vary a little bit more depending on what the shoot is and what I'm actually, you know, doing that day. But I do tend to be grabbing for the same ones each time. I always seem to pack the 18mm f1.8 in case I need a nice wide lens for some dramatic establishing shots or also for some vertical content for example. So it's a great lens for that. And also if I find myself shooting in a really small environment that I can't escape, you know, sort of using, then having the 18mm is also a great lens for filming interviews in tight situations as well because of course f1.8 means I can still throw that background out a little bit and it makes, you know, the space feel a little bit less pokey. The Sigma 28-70 f2.8 is probably my most used lens overall for client work, but since this is a video about the Lumix gear I use, I'll just leave my gushing for that lens to another video. I also seem to find myself grabbing for the 85mm f1.8 a lot of the time as well, purely because it's just really nice to have a decent portrait lens in your kit for those close-ups and the detail shots. It's also great as a tighter B-cam lens when shooting interviews, but now that the new 100mm macro is here, I might see how that lens fares up in these situations compared to the 85mm to see whether the 100mm is something that I prefer to use. Um, because honestly, one of my biggest gripes with the 85mm, as much as I love it, is its minimum focusing distance. So realistically, the 100mm macro might help me out in those times where I just wanna get a little bit closer. 
Some notable lenses that I absolutely adore are the 35mm f1.8 and the 70-200 f4s Pro. Um, I've actually got a video planned for that lens uh, actually in the future, so keep an eye out for that or go and watch it if you're watching this video a lot later than this posting date. Um, but of course, when I'm shooting my client work and when I'm shooting these YouTube videos, I have to be efficient, so I can't bring more gear than I need, and I have to think about whether I'd actually use the gear that I'm bringing along with me, which makes my you know sort of decision making a lot more critical and a lot more sort of blunt, if you like, when realistically I can't be basing it on my personal biases. I'd love to know what Lumix gear you guys are using on a regular basis, whether that's for your client work, whether you're a content creator, or whether you're just an enthusiast and shoot stuff for your personal stuff. I'd love to know what you're using and why you're using it. So let's create a discussion down below and hopefully I'll see you guys in the next video.